Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Rule 34 podcast. I've been here. I'm your host, Jack, joined by my fellow co host, uh, Dominic Castillo, uh, rally driver for the Lancer Stratos, Tipo 829. <laughs> uh, yes, I like how you and Oscar are always able to come up with uh, unique things. Speaking of which, Oscar isn't here today, but we hope to catch him in the next episode. Uh, yep. So how you been, Dominic? I've been pretty good. Um, school has so far been okay. Uh, it just feels weird, uh, like getting back to it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've said this every time, but I, I just feel like I haven't gotten that 100 percent immersion into college. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's just, I'm gonna keep on repeating this, but it's it's depressing. Like knowing we're not gonna go to school for our first, you know, freshman semester. Yeah. I mean, the first year, if at that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, other than that, uh, we've been pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure if I've told you, but I've already uh, I tested the the COVID vaccine. I mean, not the COVID. I've tested again for the the COVID uh, virus, and I've tested negative. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. So uh, I've been able to go back to work and do my regular weekly job so we're, we're, we're Gucci 60 cents an hour 60 cents <laughs> per uh, uh, per day per day per day <laughs> uh, that's good to hear or at least the last part I know the first part isn't really a good thing to hear but here's the hoping that this all ends soon which uh, before we get into today's topic, let's have a mini discussion. I was seeing something about uh, how the class of twenty twenty one was kind of complaining uh-huh. about how uh, basically how COVID like took away their whole uh senior year, you know, yeah, and all the activities. And when we talk about this, we're not trying to make. You know, one problem seemed less than the others. But, like, what do you think? Who had it worse, 2021 or 2020? I was in the class of 2024. Why? Not talking about... No, actually, no. No. Class of 2020. Not I don't know what I'm saying. 2020. But not for high schoolers, but for instead the college students who have finally graduated. Ah. Because... I mean, their whole, you know, the whole point of after graduation is you find a career, you know, you invested four years of your life in. Maybe more. But now, you, and maybe even more, like possibly six years, or maybe eight years, you're trying to go for like a PhD or like doctor's degree. But they've been, you know, it, the COVID hit and now it's pretty much impossible to find a job because people are being laid off by, you know, every day. Yeah. But to answer your question, I've think class of 2020 us got it worse because class of 2020 uh, they're not 100% adapted but like how do you call it the they've gone to see how we have suffered maybe exaggerating a bit but we never got to have a graduation we never got to get a grad night we're like we're pretty much like the first class ever to not get anything yeah, and the, the end of high school. Yeah, and you know, again, I'm not trying to make others' problems seem less, but you know, at least with twenty twenty one, there was that first like half semester to test, and then afterwards, the the high schools could like somewhat adapt and try and figure out what's best. Yeah. Uh, we had our entire year like ripped midway through. Like we were in March, and then out of nowhere, oh yeah, yeah. And, no more school, like, you're going to be doing it all online. As you mentioned, everything taken away. And then I think the biggest thing is, as you mentioned when you were discussing in the intro, our whole first year of college has been taken away. Pretty much. I mean, I, there's at least hope for 2021 that maybe they'll have at least, like, one or two semesters at the campus. We didn't get that. Right. We're stuck in online school, still suffering. I think online school for college is worse than what high schools are going through. Yeah, 
uh, for Berkeley, I believe they're having uh, limited in-person classes. Mm. So like they would use like, let's say like a room of uh, like that, that could hold 300 students, but they're only going to like, like 20 students in mm. for like a live lecture. But that's it. No more. And they yeah. will be obviously like separated apart. But yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. pretty much like a lottery, pretty much, because they only they're not like accounting for like the best, like you know, uh, outstanding student to take a person online. It's usually, it's just gonna be by lottery. Yeah. But for in person classes, I mean, Berkeley hopes they could do it by fall of twenty twenty two. Because twenty twenty two. Yeah, because they, they, because um, I believe there's been a recent outbreak in Berkeley as well. Oh no! Yeah, so they kind of like every time they keep hoping for like, oh, fall of 2021, oh maybe spring of 2021, but they keep on pushing it, you know, like that date of hopefully when everything could return back to normal, and that's all the way to 2022 now. Yeah, uh, when when this COVID thing ends, it's starting to sound like when Overwatch two drops. Oh no! Yeah, uh, for those who don't know, uh, the creators who made Overwatch Two have basically delayed the game and saying that its uh, finalization will come until 2022, when it was announced last year, one entire year ago. It was supposed to be announced in 2021. And keep in mind, this game's been in development since like 2017, 18. Exactly. It's, it's depressing. could be worse. Could be like Cyberpunk. What was it, it like be. eight years in development? Eight years in development and already like everyone's dropping the game. Like the first week it's out. Like imagine that. It's so sad. <laughs> oh my god. Like, Im- like imagine like creating a product for eight years with your own hands for everyone to hate on it. The news media to hate on it. Like even your own like co-workers who work alongside with you making this eight-year-old product to hit on it as well Man, it's depressing I, yeah that's only like that's one of the times like i'll feel bad for developers when they put like all this effort and then like the game just keeps getting hate uh, but i mean so far there's been recent updates like updating the game so it's not that bad now hmm. i mean there's even been like a modding community that's like like it's 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 depressing to think that like like regular like common players are able to like modify the game uh, through like like working with like the dev tools of the game and literally like fix all the problems that have been going on. <coughs> oh, that's good to hear. Well, actually, somewhat good. To hear. I mean, I find it funny how a lot of times. People in the community will be able to fix games through like mods better than uh than like the de- development crews can. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, Overwatch devs take like almost what three to four months for like patches and updates, but yet like people within the game are able to like do all this crazy stuff within like a short amount of time. Yeah. Uh, speaking about games, uh, what are your thoughts, Jack? If you have or not already played this, but uh, about the new Call of Duty Zombies map. I have not played it. You have not played it? Okay, okay. Well, uh, have you seen the trailer, at least? Uh, a little bit of it, but not the full thing. Okay, okay, okay. But it's a new zombie map, so it should be good. Do you have to pay for it? Uh, no, it is free. Thank to God. To all players, it is free. Thank God. All future DLCs for zombies will be free for the next, uh, what, year, I guess? Let's go. You remember those days having to pay, like, what was um, it, almost 20 bucks for each map? Like 15, 20 bucks. But, I mean, not, I mean, you, you, you not only you get a zombies map, you get, like... The multiplayer uh, maps? Multiplayer maps. Uh, camels, I, I think? think? Yeah, I think you get camels as well. I would say the best deal, though, was BO2. When they gave you all the BO1 maps and World at War maps. Oh, we got a point. Well, what about the Black Ops 3 Chronicles? Oh, yeah, that one, too. Those yeah, I two think it gave like... you all Black Ops 1, all Black Ops 2, I think? No, no, just Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3 maps. 
mm-hmm. I think. But not only that, but you also get like a like the Black Ops Three like weapons. You you get the the gobble gums and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I think if I'm if I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, definitely some good deals there. Uh, all right. So, talking a lot about Black Ops and Zombies. Would you say it's a game from your childhood? Yes, definitely, yes. Yeah, I would say the same. It was definitely a game from my childhood. And the reason I bring this up, today's topic, if you could change one thing about your childhood, what would it be? Come to think about it, something that I would change about my childhood was like the absolutely stupid decisions I would make being young. Mm. Like, like there was so, I, like you know that meme where it's like you're sleeping in bed and your brain wakes you up with like memories that you did like back when you're like in middle school, yeah, like back in elementary school. Yeah, I, I get that almost like at least once a week, like, twice a week or something like that. I get that and every I day. Memories, like. That was so bad. I was like so naive back then. It's not. It's not even funny. Yeah. But like, yeah. like, like to recall like specific moments. Um, what's well, something specific that I did? Uh, I remember back in middle school. Well, what did we do back in middle school? You should you you should tell the the story you were telling or that Jason brought up about math class. Wait, what was the? Oh, the man, I the, forgot the twenty one thing. Wait, what? When you played the the 21 video? Oh, my Lord. Yeah, um, okay, to recall, this was back in, what, 7th grade? Uh, it was like a math remedial class, because I was not smart at that time. Um, at the time this was going on, uh, like, vinyl was getting popular, like, the 21, like, the 9 plus 10, 21 one was getting popular. Uh, and I downloaded this app, it was like a Vine soundboard <laughs> Where I thought it was cool because it had all like the like the catchphrases and like the funny sounds, uh, which included the the, the kids saying twenty one, and like just out of nowhere, no, it was not out of nowhere. I believe something like somebody tr- made funny joke or something, and I just busted out my phone, and it just played the twenty one kid in the back, and the class was dead silent, and it was oh man, and the teacher took my phone. Oh my god. And I thought it was funny, and I said it was worth it. It was clearly not. It was never worth it. Oh my gosh, man! Uh, you want to know what was worth it though? What? You were doing the whip in the middle of class? Oh yeah, this was during uh, eighth grade. Eighth grade, uh, in English class. Uh, I think I don't know if I did it voluntarily. You guys told me to. I think I did voluntarily. Why well, I just walked into the middle of class, like in the front of the middle of class, and I just whipped an eighty, and I just ran back. I and, loved it, and you didn't get caught. And I didn't get caught somehow. The teacher was looking away at the time, so I just ran into the middle of class, did it, ran back. I, I, I loved it. I thought it was genius. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but I, I feel you on that. I get that, like, every day. Like, I'm just trying to sleep, and, like, it always happens. Just one random memory pops up, and I'm just like, man, why the heck did I do that? Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking about the Whippinini, you know the, the, the person, the artist, Silento? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I know what you're going to talk about. <laughs> you hear about the news that he murdered his cousin or something like that? Yeah, I saw news about that. Did you see the terrible caption that a news site came up with? Oh, I didn't. Well, I, I didn't see that. What, what did it say? Bro, like, I don't like. I'm. I'm just gonna say. Imagine going to like school to get like a degree in journalism, right? right. And you're forced to write the headline: "Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Watch me be accused of murder."